Hi, this is Stephanie Sanders from Tomatoes House of Rock, uh, and I'm going to show you how to use a rhythmic motif in a solo. So we've already looked at a melodic motif in a different video, but now we're going to think about motifs, which also can mean pattern, um, in a rhythmic way. Um, so while we could get specific and say, okay, I want a quarter note, two eighth notes, another quarter note for the rhythm, um, when you're thinking about motifs, sometimes I find it's better to give yourself a little bit more room. So, for instance, maybe your rhythmic pattern is just long, short, short, long. So that means you can stretch it, it can get shorter. Um, maybe you play it really fast, maybe you play it really long, but um, mostly with a rhythmic a motif, it really allows you to start exploring scales um, because if you've got that rhythmic backbone, um, starting to try to move around might feel a little bit less intimidating because there's always that groove behind it. Um, so let's look at a C minor pentatonic scale, um, which we would have C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C, and of course, if we we're gonna add the blue note in, it would be that F sharp. Um, so if my pattern is long, short, short, long, maybe I play Maybe I play it completely different. Maybe I say, but there's still that long, short, short, long feeling going. Um, so yeah, it's really up to you to experiment. Use the whole keyboard um, and play with the rhythm. You know, you don't have to be completely strict. Add in other beats if it feels good, um, but really use that strong rhythm as a starting place to build your solo. Um, all right, let's hear what it sounds like with some music. Thank you.